Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we have the TS600 by uh, Think Car. This is an OBD2 scanner, ABS SRS code. Um, you can get this at Amazon. Think Car did send me this uh, device. Um, they are not paying me for this review, so I'm just going to go ahead and review it. Alright, pretty much it comes in an Amazon box like this. You can buy this at Amazon. This is the way it will come. So once we get it unboxed, we get a big box like this. Uh, think scan personal automotive diagnostic tool it says diagnostic maintenance for your car support full OBD2 function read clear code data stream um, IM and help shortcuts support diagnostic re uh, report print so I guess you can uh, print a diagnostic um, you got 3.5 inches of LCD with good visual effects you got LM bed or uh, fault code library, fast check and acquire help, support multiple languages, English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, Russian, Portuguese and Japanese. Now these are the three different um, tools you can get. You get the 600, the 601 or the 609. Like I said, the 609 does come with little bit more features. Uh, it says Think Scan 600 yellow system supports ABS SRS maintenance functions oil brake and TPSM. Um, let's see here Think Scan designed by in California made in China. Let's go ahead and uh, cut this. Oh and on the back here we got another label. Um, it says ThinkScan 600 OBD2 car diagnostic tool made in China. So pretty much that's what it says there. You got a nice box, texture box, by the way. Let's flip this over. Nothing else on the the box. So pretty much this is the packaging material you're going to get. Um, you're going to get some instructions. Um, looks like a really nice uh, booklet here. Got some clear instructions. The, yeah, this is the first one. So, um, so right here, it tells you, that, you know, they do have, have Facebook. They got all the social media and they got the website here. You can check them out. Um, and it tells you what it's compatible. You got Windows XP, Windows. You got their serial number registration code. So yeah, I guess you can register this device. So this is definitely a great thing. So you can uh, register it. All right. Um, let's put the instructions aside. We got the wire. It's very thick. Um, it is flexible, uh, but it is high quality. Um, and this probably what goes in the device and this this is uh, goes in the OBD2 port here as you guys see good quality materials and then we got here we got a USB port uh, this looks like a USB yeah like a like a USB device so we're gonna go ahead and say that and we got some uh, absorb I guess the to, to not throw away so I guess you just keep it with the, the device there or the box um, this is the device itself um, let's see here it's pretty much all rubber casing here um, this is thick rubber you can feel it's rubber so in case you drop it you know it's not going to damage the, the product or in case you put it down like so you're not going to damage the screen so you got nice rubber here you got plastic you got rubber buttons here and these are probably lights here 
Um, you got a nice big screen, like I said. Um, you got the serial number here on the back. You got the model number. You got uh, more specifications. You got the website there, Made in China, designed in California. And I guess this is how you put in the device. Basically, like an old monitor from uh, from the computers back in the day. They had this type of uh, connector. All right, we got the scanner here. We're gonna go ahead and plug it into this. Uh, this is a Ford F one fifty. I'm gonna plug it in here. Thing scan. All right, let's, let's go inside the vehicle. Um, I did uh, the battery did die on it, so I don't know if you guys watched my video from before, but um, this truck did had uh, the battery died. So it's just running right now, it's a monitoring status, um, it's looking how it's running. So you got MIL status on, DTCS in this ACU 4, it says readiness completed 3, readiness not completed 5, readiness not supported 2, data stream supported is okay. Read codes. All right. Um, so this is the code that is giving the the truck or the the device here. It says um, P zero three forty, and it is a generic camshaft precision sensor. Um, sensor A, circuit bank one, or single sensor. So. Um, this is an example from this device usually if you get a cheaper device um, they'll just tell you the code but it would not tell you what it is um, this device does tell you exactly what it is it tells you it's a camshaft position sensor uh, sensor a circuit bank one or single sensor so it is telling you um, the details of this uh, of this problem on this uh, code that it's reading Let's see here. I'm just gonna put save all right so you can move the the arrows back and forth like this that's the one and that's the two two out of four right there you guys looked at it so the other one is a P0141 um, this is a generic it says generic O2 sensor heater circuit bank one sensor two so that's the other code that this uh, vehicle has and then again we put the arrow here and we move to um, code number three what uh, it's p0155 on this one we got generic O2 sensor heater circuit bank two sensor one all right let's go to number four same thing generic p0161 you got O2 sensor, heater circuit bank two, sensor two. So then again, you know that there's something wrong with this um, O2 sensor connections, or maybe the O2 sensors on this on this vehicle are bad. Uh, chances are they're probably bad because this truck has a lot of problems. But it still runs. It runs rough, but it runs. Um, but this is a great item, so you guys could find out what exactly is wrong with your vehicle and um, somewhere where you can start troubleshooting and uh, replacing those parts. You do have an option to erase the codes. Right there it says clear, reset, emission related diagnostic. Are you sure? And you can click okay or cancel. I'm just gonna cancel. Um, I am readiness, let's see here. DTCs were cleared. It says misfire monitor, okay. Fuse, hold on. Fuel system monitor, okay. Compressive uh, component monitor, okay. Catalyst monitor, INC. Vehicle, by the way. Data stream. 
view our items I'm just gonna view our items so you guys will see what this looks looks like so you got uh, fuel system one status seal fault fuel system two status nothing calculated load value 20 percent let's see if we press the gas We're pressing the gas and you guys are seeing that it's increasing We took off the gas it just decreased uh, we got engine coolant temperature 85 degrees so um, then I guess this trucks running fine or on the temperature wise at least you got short-term fuel trim bank one tells you 0.8 percent long-term fuel trim bank one 18.0 percent short-term fuel trim bank two negative 2 and 0.8 so it just varies it says long term fuel trim bank 2 18.0 percent it says vehicle rpm so it does tell you the rpm um on this device it tells you 700 let's press the gas see if it'll go up it went up to 1300 17 and so forth so 2000 uh, vehicle speed so it does tell you the speed of the vehicle zero kilometers per hour actually we're parked so we're not running um, so that's not that's correct so ignition timing advance for number one cylinder for cylinder one 11.0 12.0 so it just varies uh, it says intake air temperature so it's telling you the the temperature from the from the intake um so we're just gonna go back i'm just gonna save it see if it'll save let's go back it says select items view graphics items so we're just gonna view the graphics here All right, and then again, you can select which one you want to see. I'm just going to put all of them. It says all oh, data stream on page. And I just hit hit the back button here. Hit the back. And then you're going to see the... You're going to see the, the graph here. It says load PCT220.4. And then ECT, that's Celsius. That's as hot it's running. Um, the truck 90 Celsius and then it's SHRTF T1 this is negative or not negative negative 1.8 and it tells you the graph it's going up as I press the gas alright this is the screen you're, you're going to get when you get to when you plug it in turn on the vehicle um, when you push the DTC it's gonna scan the, ve the vehicle for any codes so it's a one one button operation here it says please wait and it tells you the code right off the bat with this with the single button there it tells you um, it got four different codes P0340 and it tells you what it is and the a detailed explanation of what it is you can save it um, you can choose help or you can just uh, with with the arrows you can just go from uh, code to code all right and then it does have another shortcut here it says ER it says to erase so um, This is clear, reset emissions related diagnostic information. Are you sure? So if you want to clear all the codes or everything off the computer, you can just push this button. I'm just going to return it. So I'm not going to clear. And then you have the IM. Uh, the, the IM is basically like a, like a graph. 
um, of what the vehicle is doing right now. And uh, let's see here. Since DTCs were cre or cleared, it says misfire. It tells you all the details um, that we just went over right now. EGR, oxygen sensor, misfire, fuel system, compressive component, catalyst monitor, heated catalyst, evaporated system, secondary air system, oxygen, oxygen sensor heater, EGR. So yeah, it tells you pretty much it's a one button operation. That's, that's one thing I really like about this. Um, let's press this one, see what it does, the question mark here. It says DLC location information. So DLC location information. I guess if you need any help, um, you can press that button. I guess the question mark. So it tells you where the the plugin is usually located. This is abbreviation. So it tells you what every, every single I abbreviation means here. It's the same thing. Oh, and then if you guys want to switch it to um, miles per hour or kilometers per hour, you go to the setup here. And then just put in unit measure and then just put imperial instead of metric just choose imperial and uh, if you want to hear a beep on off that's the way it sounds it says record mode um this is language you can choose any language basically any language there and that's it yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe hit the bell if you want to help out the channel so we can buy more tools like this make more tool review videos um, please help out the channel by subscribing that's the way youtube runs their platform thank you for watching